Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about the, my new Chanel bronzer. So it's a cream bronzer from Chanel and I, this is the only time I can finally review it. I had this already since August or July but I stopped using it because I wanted to focus on different products. So now it's the perfect time for me to finally review it. So it's the Chanel Le Beige, um, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. 390 Soleton Bronze Universal. So I think this is the only shade they provide. That's why it's, they call it Universal because I think um, it this is intended to, for everyone, but I don't think it would be uh, for everyone. You will see why later. But yeah, um, if you see, this is a really packaging is really beautiful. There's like their name there and also information a bit here. So yeah, they said it's only 12 months and yeah, 30 grams. And when you open it, there's like a, a cup um, like a, to protect it with their like iconic um, logo. And this is a product. So I've, I've used this already. That's why it looks like this. But when it's thin, it's really a pretty swirl. I will let you see how it looks when I just open it because it, it looks so beautiful and I didn't want even to touch it so now I will let you see my application how it looks and yeah my review about this now we will apply the Le Beige Le Beige Solietan Bronze Universal Universal so I for my base if you're wondering I'm using the Bobbi Brown foundation and the Cosas concealer so I will put everything what I'm wearing today so you know if you're wondering which ones I'm using so just open it it's really like a nice packaging with a logo so normally I first do my nose that's how I bronze so I just swirl it like the tip part but I didn't use this for a long time hmm, there's no isn't dried up hmm. Let's see, because I don't see any pigment with this. Like, just tracing. Now I see. Not so much. This shade is also not so dark. So I think darker skin tones, I don't think it will show up on you so I don't understand why they say this is universal hmm. with my nose I don't really see this good do I need a brush for this one more time now we go to this side but because it's not so big and it's really swirl hard Okay, let's see. There's any any pigments, but I really love the formula of this because it's really it's not so opaque, which is a good sign that you will not over apply it. But you need to when you have like my skin tone till medium, you need to get a lot of product probably with don't know if you see a difference i need to swirl it again okay make sure a lot of product is here because you because i don't see it good i when i was using this when it was still new i didn't really remember this was so like light We'll see here also. I thought this was a bit browner. This is like almost cool toned, which is a good color for like shadow effect. So when you contour, it doesn't look like orange or brown. I don't know. Do you see any difference? Because I don't see anything. I need to add more. Yeah, now this is maybe the fourth layer already. Mm, you see that? I don't really see a difference. One more. 
because I don't see it good. Yeah. With this, you really need to have a lot because it's not showing up. I'll try to swatch it because I don't see anything. So this is how it looks. Mm. It's really light. It's almost like a gel kind of. It looks warm. Don't. Mm. I really make sure because I don't see. Okay. Yeah, okay, that should be okay. Do you see a difference? I'll just take a photo to com to compare. So I'll just finish the other side. So this is how it looks after I apply it much because I don't see it good maybe because of the lighting as well but as you can see it really gives a nice like a warmth and like a, yeah like a bronze look so I like this because it's not like orange or like reddish kind of tone it's just like a natural looking for my skin tone so I'm not sure with darker how would it, it would look but for sure the skin tones that are lighter than me it would really be like a nice uh, bronzy look as well so I will just finish my face and I will let you see later how it looks with all the makeup combined so this is my finished look using the Chanel bronzer I really love how light it is it's not so pigmented that it's hard to like blend it out that's what I like with formulas even for blushers and bronzers especially bronzers I don't want it to be so much um, uh, pigmented that it's hard for me to blend them out but with this I hope it's a bit quite darker because I need to like maybe six layers before I really love the effect but yeah, if you want a natural finish if you have my skin to and lighter I think this would be perfect but darker I don't think you will see anything because I hardly even see it on my skin and if you're wondering what blush I'm wearing I'm wearing the Naughty and Spice from Nude Sticks and for my lips is the Cashew from Tower 28. For the definition of this bronzer, they said a unique lightweight and easy to blend cream gel bronzer with a delicate velvety finish that gives a natural sun-kissed glow. Yeah, the gel consistency, I really feel it. Generously sized jar makes it easy to swirl the kabuki brush for effortless application. Which I, yeah, it's really, I was so surprised to see how big it is and yeah if you see like there's a lot of space for your any kind of size of brush which i like and i like the detail of this like there's like a cup so it will not dry down with their chanel um embossing and this is how it looks and i was also let you see how it looks when it's still new and yeah yeah it smells yeah, there's really a scent to it so if you're sensitive to it i i think you will notice it while applying but it will not linger for a long time which is okay but it has a strong scent and what i know is that this is a different um formulation than the like the iconic the first release of this i think that was solid this stun de chanel and they changed the name of this to the lebege healthy glow bronzer Anno Sovietan Bronze Universal. So they said the old one was better, but I don't have any experience with that. I cannot say anything about that. But with this, I already love it. But maybe that one was a bit pigmented. I'm not quite sure. But with this, I still love it. But I don't think they should call this universal because it's not universal. Um, I don't think it will even like show up to darker skin tones. So I hope they will release like different kinds of tones so everyone can enjoy this and because I really love it. Because it has like a gel, like light consistency, you will not overdo it, which I really love with it comes to bronzers and you get a lot of it, 30 grams. So they, this would really last me a long time, but because I need to swirl a lot, I think it would not um, 
maybe for a year if I continue continuously use it but when I first got it I really enjoy this a lot and the packaging is so like luxe you see that on your on top of your table you would really like appreciate it but of course what the, the most important thing is what's inside and I do love the product itself so and I think a lot of people were like um, disappointed because they added uh, coconut oil if I'm not mistaken with this bronzer and like the original one they didn't have it and they don't like it because it can like break them out but with me although I'm not that sensitive kind of, of skin I can try a lot of products without having like breakouts but I don't have any problems with it thank god so maybe if you're if you're really sensitive to it maybe you could get a reaction but so far with me um, it works pretty well. I love how it looks. I love how it applies only the the sad part is that you need to reapply a lot because it's not showing up that much so yeah if i forget something i will try to put it in my blog post so you will know more about this product i will link it in my description box so if and if you like this video please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot if you could consider subscribing to my channel as well it will mean so much to me so yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next one bye